Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Kaza. Now Kaza wasn't used to being called such cute things or cute nicknames. And this specifically wasn't something he ever thought he would hear. After all, he was a samurai. He had hurt countless people. And perhaps gone even further than that. So, he does not expect this on a Sunday morning, while the two of you are cuddling, when you decide to give him a soft kiss on the cheek, and look at him with the softest look in your eyes. You know, Kaza, you're such a cutie sometimes. That really made him spit out his copy, in bewilderment and sheer surprise. He was a blushing must too, but he quickly regained his composure. Well, Wyan, I'm not really sure of that. I mean, it really wouldn't make sense if I was, you know. What's bad about it? It's something I love about you. Come on. Fine, then. I won't reject your compliment. Albedo? Now, this was one thing he did not expect to hear at all. In fact, it was one thing that never crossed his mind. Not in a hundred years. So... To be sitting with you in the morning, and have you said that loud, it was something really weird. At least for him, because one moment you had an arm around your waist, and the other, you were pulling him even closer, smiling. Oh, Albedo, you're such a cutie, making breakfast for me and all that. Hmm, I'm not really sure if I would call myself a cutie though. You laughed at that. But, he immediately cuts you off, by taking your face in his hands, and pulling you in for an intimate kiss. Well, that wasn't certainly very cute of him, so maybe you were wrong about your earlier assessment. But hey, for just this one time, you didn't mind being wrong at all. Venti? No, no, Venti wasn't really the opposite of cute. In fact, him being called cute wouldn't be strange at all, except he didn't hear it much. And being an archon and all, it was kind of difficult to be called cute without finding it a little bit funny and kind of strange. However, when the two of you were curled up in each other's arms at night, with him saying so many things and reading poems to you, you couldn't help but admire how cute he is, and how much of a lovely partner he could truly be sometimes. He kissed him, so soft and tender, and then whispered about how cute you find him. And that's when Vinci burst out into giggles, telling you the real cutie here is certainly you, not him. But if you keep insisting, then it's not like you'll have anything to say about it. After all, he really finds it hard to disagree with you. Scaramouche. He certainly does not believe you. What do you mean he's a cutie? He would be a blushing mess. Pouting. Crossing his arms and looking away from you. You're completely wrong about this, Wyan. I'm not... I'm not a cutie or whatever you think it is. I'm just me. So stop calling me that already. He would say. And honestly... Even though you do mean to take him seriously sometimes, or at least most of the time, you couldn't help but laugh. He was so adorable when he was grumpy like this, especially when he got so embarrassed. And to be honest, it only made you want to embarrass him more, if only to see him being so adorable and cute. Even though he was just denying being any of that, but it made it really hard when you looked at him and found those squishy cheeks. And that adorable pout, he truly was the cutest of all. And even if he didn't believe it, someday he will surely see the vision. Donnery. Donnery was usually used to compliments from you whenever you were touching him, or playing with his tail, or his ears. You just found him quite cute. And he would hear this from you quite often. So when you were just ruffling his hair, 
and scratching his ears a little bit, and he made a little noise. He blushed, but he just kissed him. Telling him he's such a cutie when he's like this, which only made him blush brighter, really. But he only wrapped his arms around you, burying his face into your neck. He loves you so much. And even if he gets embarrassed by the compliments that you give him sometimes, it does nothing to diminish their value to him. And the way that he craves them so deeply. To be honest, you meant the entire world to him. And if it meant being a little bit embarrassed because you called him cute or otherwise, then he really doesn't mind. Especially, not when it was so nice coming out of your mouth. Xiao. Xiao was not cute. Xiao was not whatever he said he was. Xiao had many disagreements over this, because it was simply embarrassing beyond belief. Calling an adeptus such nicknames. It was beyond the word embarrassing, because that simple word could not encompass what you was feeling. This was not that simple. Yet you, calling him cute, adorable, or all those other nicknames seemed to be like nothing to you. Wyan, stop calling me that, he said, blushing furiously bright, while you just yelled and laughed at him, kissing him so sweetly and so softly. But you know what, Chow? You are adorable. I just can't control myself around you. You said softly, but he just shook his head, scoffing at you. But then again, but truly, really, it wasn't like he could hide this blush from you. And that pout on his face only made him look cuter. Child, child was used to hearing many weird things, maybe from his parents, and from you as well. But this nickname, it always made him smile a little bit and blush, because it was a little bit weird. After all, he was a harbinger, someone who loved fighting and battles. And yet, here he was in your arms, with you calling him your cutie and everything. He couldn't help but giggle, kissing your face all over. You know what, Wyan? You're really the cuter one. I don't think you should call me the cutie here. And just when you were about to protest, he shut you up with a deep kiss, smirking at you when you were blushing this instead. All it took for him was to just know when to catch her off guard, and this time, he truly passed the test.